Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report, North Carolina Plans Drone Summit, AMA Ameliorates Raleigh UAV Regulations, and unique Typhoon H Plus now powered by Intel RealSense technology. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 200,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. The North Carolina Department of Transportation is planning a drone summit and flight expo for August 5th through 7th. Participants include key industry representatives, technology pathfinders, influential government officials, and pioneering users. A dynamic agenda of keynote talks, panel discussions, and contributed presentations covers a spectrum of commercial and public safety UAS applications. A flight expo will showcase drone mission capabilities by flying demonstration missions on site during the conference. Speakers include the FAA's Earl Lawrence of the UAS Integration Office, who will address UAS regulation and policy outlook in the Integration Pilot Program. The summit will open with a reception on Sunday, August 5th. Monday will be devoted to discussion of commercial operations, while Tuesday will be dedicated to the use of drones in public safety. The event will be held in Greensboro, North Carolina. Registration is open now. In the next show minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. Embry-Riddle professors Dan Macchiarella and John Robbins led a group of nine Daytona Beach students on a UAS disaster study away trip in May to support Oklahoma Emergency Management and Department of Wildlife Conservation efforts to survey the aftermath of large rangeland fires that raged across hundreds of thousands of acres in Oklahoma in April. The Embry-Riddle UAS disaster response team received briefings and prepared to assist with response and recovery efforts resulting from wildfires, tornadoes, and other severe weather events. Students operated the SenseFly EB and DJI Inspire 1 UAS to collect and share still and full motion imagery. A man who went missing while walking to his home in the UK through a field was located by authorities flying a drone, and he credits that with saving his life. Peter Pugh, 75, had been walking through a marsh and decided to continue his shortcuts as conditions worsened. While recovering, he said he tripped and fell multiple times, thereafter taking time to rest. But about 2100 local time, the tide came in. He had tried to swim to the next field but could not get through the reeds. Emergency services launched a drone to search for Pugh. He was spotted by the drone up to his armpits in water, with his feet stuck in the mud. It's the biggest aviation event in the world, bar none, and a massive team of a and staffers along with AMA's top folks will be there to fill you in on all things aviation, with a special emphasis on drones, drone tech, and drone fun. a and airborne programming will be presenting every day from Oshkosh, and spectacular features like our annual Air Venture Innovation Preview will lead off the most exciting week in the aviation world. We'll let you know what to expect and how to find it in the coming weeks. Don't miss it. The ANN team has been building new coverage options for the AMA Drone Report, and a massive new project we'll be talking about next month. But one thing we've really been looking forward to is the start of our flight test evaluation series, inaugurated by super drone jockey Casey Seelock. We've started out with a great FPV training drone system, Fat Shark's 101 kit is the perfect solution for anyone looking to get into sport drones. Composed of a custom-designed quadcopter, race-ready FPV goggles, and a well-designed radio, the kit has everything needed to get started in drones. Check out our evaluation on AMA Drone Report YouTube channel at amadronereport.com and be sure to let us know what drones or drone products you want us to review next. That was our Drone Minute, now back to the rest of the news. AMA scored another round of cooperative responses from the City of Raleigh, whom they counseled and worked with to craft and set more reasonable regulations than were originally proposed. 
AMA's Tyler Dobbs told ANN's AMA Drone Report that AMA worked with the City of Raleigh for a number of months to remove the problematic language from the original draft. This final version is a much better solution with far fewer restrictions. The draft UAV policy will be on the agenda for the Parks, Recreation and Greenway Advisory Board at their June meeting scheduled tonight in the City Council Chambers of the Raleigh Municipal Building. Staff will present the draft policy inclusive of the process to arrive at the current draft reach with the AMA. There will be opportunity for public comment on the draft policy after the presentation. Unique International has announced its award-winning Typhoon H Plus with Intel RealSense will be available to consumers July 1st. Unique's new offering is equipped with a professional-grade 1-inch sensor and an all-new hex airframe, and intelligent obstacle navigation is optimized for photographers, creative professionals, and small drone service providers. The Typhoon H Plus with Intel RealSense includes a high-aperture 1-inch sensor camera capable of 20 megapixel stills and 4K resolution video at 60 frames per second. The new model also boasts improved low-light performance thanks to larger aperture optics and extended ISO range, and comes standard with a continuous rotation gimbal combined with retractable landing gear that provides seamless 360-degree unobstructed views. The airframe also has a variety of flight and image capturing modes, including point of interest, orbit me, curved cable cam, journey mode, and team mode for film and photography teams. Unique's all-new, larger, highly stable six-rotor hex airframe is accompanied by a newly redesigned Android-based ST16S controller, which includes a large, high-brightness 7-inch integrated display HD 720p video downlink. The Typhoon H Plus will retail at $1,899.99. Well, that's our program for this week. Airborne's AMA Drone Report is presented weekly with the Academy of Model Aeronautics. And in addition to this program are daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org. We'll see you next week.